What did the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam say on Arafah? The majority view among the scholars is that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam performed one Hajj during uh, his prophethood and during his mission, and that was on the ninth year uh, after Hijrah. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam stood on the plain of Arafah on the mountain of Ar-Rahmah, the mountain of mercy specifically, and addressed the biggest gathering of Muslims that the Prophet ﷺ had ever seen. Over a hundred thousand Muslims had gathered to hear from him and perform the Hajj with him ﷺ, and he addressed them, and uh, it is known as the Khutbatul Wada' or Khutbatul Hajj, the farewell sermon or the sermon of Hajj, which is a sunnah to do when one is in Arafah. And the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he laid out the most important aspects of the religion. Uh, and he said that Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala had made the wealth and the blood and the honor of a Muslim inviolable. One should not transgress against them, not to speak ill of another Muslim or to slander another Muslim, not to aggress another against another Muslim and uh, usurp their wealth, and definitely not to shed blood. And he said, let not any of you return after me kuffara, uh, like the kuffar, uh, striking the necks of one another. The Prophet ﷺ also emphasized the rights of women who were downtrodden group second-class citizens during the pre-Islamic Jahili uh, era, the era of ignorance. And the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he also reminded us of our single origin, that we are all from one father and our father is from clay and that there is no superiority for an Arab over a non-Arab or for someone who is white over someone who is black. There is no superiority for any human being over another except through taqwa, except through piety. And he recited, Inna akramakum indallahi atqakum. Indeed, the most honorable of you in the sight of Allah are those who are most pious.